Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca, back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over the Set 26 Headliners Pack Featured Card, which is a Future Stars for the Miami Marlins starting pitcher, Sixto Sanchez, he's 97 overall, and pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to do a Chewy review, we're going to give him a Chewy rating, and we're just going to go over the card, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think about the card. Personally, just a quick heads up, I think this card's pretty good. We're going to go over the attributes when we get in there. We're going to go a little bit about what makes him a future star and almost a guaranteed star in the league at some point in time when he gets in there as a prospect, assuming he has no injury issues. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Comment below about what you guys think about these Chewy reviews. I appreciate all the feedback. All right, guys, let's get in and see what this Sixto Sanchez looks like. Let's get into the background of Sixto Sanchez a little bit and what makes him such a great prospect. So he's a Dominican-born pitcher that actually the Philadelphia Phillies discovered whenever they're going to watch a Cuban catcher. He was part of the JT Real Muto trade to the Philadelphia Phillies. That's how he became part of the Miami Marlins. When Real Muto played for the Marlins, they traded him to the Phillies. Sixto Sanchez was the big piece in that deal that the Marlins got back. So, being that he's a great prospect... His prospect rankings for Baseball America is number 16 overall. For Major League Baseball, is number 22 overall. Baseball Prospectus, he's number 27 overall. He's also the number one prospect in the Miami Marlins organization. And his prospect ratings, so these are based out of 20 to 80 points. His fastball's rated a 70. His slider's rated a 55. His changeup's rated a 60. His control's rated a 60, which averages him over 60 overall. So 60 overall out of the 80 scale is actually really high for a prospect. There's only 21 guys that have either the same rating or a higher rating in all of Major League Baseball. Also in Double A last year when he pitched, he was 8-4 with a 2.53 ERA. His batting average against him was 225. And he had 97 Ks and 103 innings pitched in Double A. Now that we've got a little background about what makes Sanchez such a great prospect, let's look at the actual card. So obviously he's right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. He throws four pitches, a sinker, a circle change, a four-seam fastball, and a slider. So the sinker as his primary pitch here makes him a sinker baller. And it has a lot of movement if this is anything like his prospects card, the 86 overall that's already in the game. He also throws his changeup about only... 81 miles an hour, and it has pretty good movement on it. It kind of dives into the ground. So there's a good change of pace here. And his sinker and circle change kind of the same movement. So it's actually a very good combination for him pitching within the game. He also has a 99 mile per hour four seam fastball, which means he's going to hit 100 to 101. Well, when we look at the quirks, he doesn't have outlier, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping, looking at how fast he throws his fastball, that he have have outlier. They could have added it for him, but they didn't. So he has also throws a slider that's 88 miles an hour. So he throws a harder slider that has pretty good movement as well. Looking at his attributes, he has 94 stamina, 97 hits per nine, 90 K per nine, 99 base on balls per nine, 81 home run per nine, 97 pitching clutch with 88 control, 99 velocity, 95 break. Based on the fact in double A, he almost struck out a guy per inning. I would have liked to see his K's per nine a little bit higher, somewhere around like that 95 range. But it's okay at 90. For a starting pitcher, he has actually really, really good attributes across the board. He can go relatively deep into games with a 94 stamina. Let's look at his quirks real quick. His quirks are pressure cooker, workhorse, stingy, untouchable, control artist, grounded, cheesy, sinker baller, and illusionist. So he has all of the quirks you need, minus outlier, which I was hoping they would add for him, but they didn't. But between workhorse being able to go late into games, the control artist, grounded, stingy, Cheesy sinker ball illusionist. He's going to be very hard to hit. He's going to get you out when guys do make contact against him. I honestly really, really like this card. Being that he's a headliner, I know it's kind of chancy of whether or not you're going to get him. I know you can buy five packs of 7,500 stubs. So it's kind of not a guarantee to get him. Although on the market, I think he's going to settle around 50K, 55K, which is actually a really good price for 97 overall. He has similar attributes to the Dustin May that was a World Series reward last time around, but I do not think he's going to be 100K because he's not as rare as Dustin May is going to be. So at 50 to 55K, I think the Sixto Sanchez is a super good card. 
And because of that, I'm going to give him four Chewies. Solid card, going to be at a good price, can be in anybody's starting rotation. I really like his windup. He has a great pitch repertoire, and I just really, really like this card. So four Chewies. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below what you think about the card. You guys have a great day, and be safe.